Yo! What's going on, everybody? Welcome, welcome to my last stream for a few weeks. Um, very, very sad. Uh, I'm not gonna be seeing you guys or hanging out with you guys for a couple of weeks, a few weeks here. Um, but yeah, if you read the title, uh, I'm gonna be out of the country. Um, I'm heading out tomorrow to uh, fly to the UK and uh, go meet up with some people over there. Uh, go have myself a little vacation over there as well and then um, head out to Spain after that. So um, yeah, today we're just gonna have ourselves a grand old time. Just uh, enjoy ourselves, go do some daily races, see if we can get some wins and and uh, just, say, uh, just say a proper goodbye for the next, you know, two or three weeks. And then you guys will see my annoying face and and uh my terrible driving once again so uh, i do want to say a huge hello to everybody welcoming uh everybody in here uh let's see we got a lot of you guys in here right now so far uh king shack welcome in diesel dave he says uh ray sam i don't know what that means but okay hello mclaren fiji hello ray welcome in daniel gomez it says enjoy it bro heading monza over the you know what daniel I was really considering it. I had a buddy that was talking to me about going to Monza um, over the weekend. I was really, really considering it, but um, it just would have been a little bit too much um, traveling in a short amount of time. So unfortunately, we had to cancel the plans. But I am going to watch the race at a pub. So we'll, I'll be able to, you know, cry with the other Ferrari fans when Binato or whoever the fuck the team strategist screws up the Ferrari plan and we don't get a win in Monza. So... I'll be able to go cry with the other Ferrari fans. <laughs> um, Max Serbo, welcome. He says, damn, so my IRL friend gets to uh, go golfing in Wales for 10 days, and then you get to go there for a week, bro. I want to... Come on, Max, come with me. Uh, you already know. You're always invited, mate. Just uh, just hit me up, and uh, we can always go on a vacation together, my guy. Lars, welcome in. Posted, he says, like for... Cheers, posted. Thank you so much for the like. Uh, Phil said, que paso, my man. Enjoy your vacation. Cheers. Thank you, Phil. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Like I said, I, and I want to say a huge thank you to everybody that's in here right now. Like, without you guys' support, we wouldn't be able to do, um, you know, these, these trips and these vacations like this. Like, uh, like I said, if, if you guys weren't here, the channel wouldn't be here. I probably wouldn't be doing any of this. And, um, I can do it. Just say a humongous thank you and a big virtual hug from my end. To each and every one of you guys that has watched the videos, liked the videos, donated, um, subscribed, became a member, all that great stuff. It just, like I said, just snowballs effect, or it just snowballs and becomes bigger and bigger. And uh, like I said, thank you guys so much. Um, but anyways, you guys aren't here to see my ugly face. You guys aren't here to see or hear my ugly voice either. But you guys are here to see the racing. So we're going to jump right into gameplay right now. Um, now, if you guys follow me on Twitter, you guys know that I've been having issues with the Fanatec um, wheel. I don't know if it's the wheel, the wheelbase, but for some reason, whenever I have it plugged into the back of the PS5, it always disconnects. I don't know what's going on with it. Um, luckily, I had a couple of people. I think I had Flash Dagger come talk to me. Uh, Key went to go talk to me on Twitter, and they all, well, they don't all suggest Flash Tiger had a different approach, but Key had an interesting uh, alternative solution to try to fix the issue. And he said to move the USB from the plug-in on the rear to the plug-in to the front. So tried that out. Hopefully, hopefully, cross my finger, it works out. Max Turbo with the 50. <laughs> Thank you so much, Max, for the donation assistance. It's been a while, man. I want to show I'm still here to support you. And all your adventure, and of course the content. Have a few drinks with whoever you're there with, and enjoy your trip. Should be a good stream. Cheers! Thank you so much, Max, for the fifty dollars. Woo! Thank you so much, my guy. I, I will use those fifty dollars towards a towards a good cause. Trust me, trust me. I will definitely use them towards a good cause. <laughs> yeah, McLaren. <laughs> this Jesus, Sam, June just started. But yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so much. You never know who I'm at. Yeah, it works always crazy. Surf Minute says, nice dude, cheers. Thank you so much, sir. I, I don't know if it's a PS5 compatible pack. I, I, my, Lars, what I'm thinking is going on is when I plug it into the rear of the PS5, 
the fans are hitting the wire. And I think the wire or something in the connection just overheats. And in order for it to stop overheating, it just disconnects itself. Which I, I don't know if it's a flaw in the PS5 or a flaw with fan attack. It's, it's a flaw somewhere though. Um, but since I plugged it into the front of the PS5, so far we haven't had any disconnection. And like I said, I'm crossing my fingers and hoping that it stays like that because that shouldn't be happening. This shouldn't be happening in anybody's front. Uh, you use the front USB with the DD Pro, never had any disconnection so far. So yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that's, that's the uh, solution, Ray. Yeah, it's, it's kind of understandable, McLaren. But like I said, it's just a theory. It's not set in stone. It's not fact. Might be doing some uh, Genshin this week, by the way, uh, since I'll have... Nice. I haven't, I've never played that game. Genshin Impact, right? That's the, uh, the mobile game, right? Never played it. Never played it. Uh, give me one second, guys. Let me turn on the air because it's so fucking hot here. Oh. It's, if you guys don't know, in Las Vegas right now, it's 41 degrees Celsius or about 108, 109 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's super freaking hot right now. Um, yeah, so I got to turn on the air conditioner. I got to turn on the fan in, in my room. If not, like everything just overheats. Another donation. Thank you so much, McLaren Fiji, for the two dollars. He says as a personal recommendation, get a, J a Coke with Jack. <laughs> I definitely will, McLaren. I definitely will. I mean, <laughs> I have I have um, bad memories with Jack and Coke. To be quite honest, with uh, with uh, drinking with certain someone, someone always wants me to have triple JD and Cokes, and um, yeah. <laughs> but I'll 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 probably use those two dollars for uh. Just, just straight Jack, or maybe just Coke. We'll see. Um, but all right, let's uh, let's hop into Dragon Trail. Let's start from the rear and see if we can work our way up. I know um, when we tried that in the uh, EMEA lobby, it did not turn out so hot. But we'll, we'll see how we do here. Uh, where is my car at? Where are you at? Oh, there you are. There's a Supra. Is, is that a Supra? Bruh. Sorry. I uh, I drank a lot of caffeine before the stream today because I wanted to be extra energetic for you guys, especially because I'm not going to see you guys for two or three weeks. So I wanted to to leave off on a high. Um. So, yeah. Wait, am I in the right profile? Oh, I'm in my EMEA. OK, well, I guess we're going to do our first race in the EMEA account then, I guess. <laughs> it's too late to transition into the USA account. So we'll do one race here in the EMEA and then we'll transition to the USA account. The USA one doesn't have a time, so we should be able to start off in the rear. I don't know what a 140.1 is going to get us here in the EMEA account. Probably going to get us like, in the rear as well, but it's not going to be last place. It's 84 degrees over there right now. Sheesh. What's going to be tomorrow, Max? In about a month, it snows over there. Lars, can you... Take me to wherever you're at. I want to see some snow. I haven't seen snow in years. It's been a while. 65 degrees for time. Yeah, I think that's like the, the big thing that I'm not prepared for. So when I get when I get into London, it's going to be in the 70s. And then at nighttime, it's going to be hitting the 50s. But it's going to be like, it sucks. I looked at the weather. And it's literally gonna be raining every single day down there. I think we're gonna get like a, they're gonna get a break in on Saturday or Sunday. But other than that, it's gonna be basically rain the entire time I'm there, which sucks because um, you know, having to walk in the rain is like, eh. Gonna be, I'm gonna be terrified of it because we don't get any rain here in Las Vegas. So when I see the the sky is, you know, dropping water. I'm going to go run and hide inside because it's going to be so foreign to me. It's finally going to rain this weekend. Nice, McLaren. Yeah, 105 toasty. It's definitely toasty. What I'm, I'm hoping for, I don't know why what's been going on, but for some reason my internet's been disconnecting. So it happened last stream. I'm also crossing my fingers to everything's just disconnecting on me. The, the wheel is disconnecting on me. The internet's disconnecting on me. 
everything's just failing but yeah hopefully on this stream we don't get any uh connection errors and we're able to do the uh because we're gonna probably stream for like maybe two and a half hours three hours here so hopefully we can get the full stream in without any uh, internet issues addison way says ah thursday morning rain it's gonna be fine gotcha gotcha the thing i'm worried about is when we when i land because uh landing into heathrow is like really wicked it always seems like it's super windy there so that's gonna be a pain uh in the middle of sweden up on oster sun oh yeah i think he told me that largely he lived up right up there <laughs> i'm afraid of the wet because well, i'm not used to seeing the wet we we don't we don't get rain here in Las Vegas. Well, we hardly do actually. Like we, when we get rain, it's during the summertime. But if you can even call it rain, it's like if someone just sprayed a water bottle, and that's our rain because it literally only rains for maybe an hour, two hours, the most. All right. Anyways, let's uh focus on what we're doing here. Survive the chicane of death. Oh, a little bit of contact with the Spaniard. Spaniard makes contact with the German. Jesus, we're all getting sandwiched here. I think the Spaniard made contact with us. Somehow we're up to B12. <laughs> That was the cluster. But we're making progress here. We're gaining on the Spanish. Now catching up and overtaking is two... Oh my goodness. All right. Well, I was going to say catching up and overtaking are two different things. Luckily, Nogueras just took out whoever the, uh, I don't know who the other guy was. He just completely <laughs> RKO'd him. We're up a position, but we almost were able to get two right there. We got a really, really bad exit. All right, can we capitalize on this? I have nowhere to go. Ah, uh, we got a good exit, but I had to let go of the throttle a little bit. What? All right, let's just go to the inside here. This, this race is basically all about survival. It's not even like how fast you can go. It's just, can you survive? And if you can, then you can finish in a, I don't want to say in a fantastic spot, but you, you, you'll gain positions. We'll go with that. Ah, gotta get around him though. The old switcheroo here. Can we get it on the inside? Oh, you gave it to me. Good on you. Fair play, fair play. All right, now let's see if we can catch up to uh, slide rules. Up in P8. I'm hoping they could just fight with each other up there then they can slow themselves down especially as they head through like the chicane of death the 
if we can find some pace here. Still 3.1 seconds away. 3.2. Back to 3.1. 3. Okay, it's just flip-flopping back and forth. You know what? I might do another EMEA race. Because, uh... I didn't realize there's still a lot of people on this server right now. Not everyone will be going to sleep right now. Maybe we could do another uh, quick race here. But jeez, we need to find some pace. Yeah, we're losing time. Who's been pulling away from the Spaniard? We gained a lot of time right there. 2.6 is this difference now between us and Slide. I don't know if we're going to be able to catch up to him, though. Oh, yellow flag. Let's see who that's for. Uh, I guess whatever it was, they got it all straightened up. Oh, another yellow flag. Oh, it's for the German. We're gonna gain a free position to do that. All right, well. <laughs> all in all, for everything we had to deal with, I guess, finishing PA is not too shabby. Where we start off in P13, right? Is he a P13 or P12? So, I, I guess we'll take a PA for the first race. I do want to put in a better qualifying time because uh, starting in the rear is scary. To say the least. Addison, you're in Malaysia. Nice. I was actually talking to someone that was telling me about going to Malaysia to check it out. <laughs> Clara, what's going on? <laughs> Your favorite Minnesotan. How's it going? Are you guys ready for the uh, for the winter season, Claire? All thumbs welcome. He says all that smoke from the forest fires is terrible here in Denver. Ooh, I didn't even know there was a uh, forest fires going on right now. All thumbs. It's about uh, twelve twenty here. Europe. Oh, okay. So yeah, so people are probably gonna start going to sleep sometime here. Gary, welcome in. He says, have fun in the UK. The weather is pretty good over here at the moment. Yeah, that's... I've heard. I've heard that's, uh... It's it's nice over there. It's just, unfortunately, when I get there, it's gonna be raining the entire time. But... Even though I'm gonna be a little afraid of the of the sky dropping rain or dropping water since I'm not used to it, um... I think I'll be alright. <laughs> Drink it off, right? Hit stop. Alright, sounds good, Max. Let's put in a quick lap because we are ranked right now like 3,300 in the world. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> Alright. Set ourselves up here. By the way, guys, no disconnection so far with the, uh, with the wheel. So, maybe, just maybe, hooking it up on the front is the way to go when uh when it comes to connecting the wheel i don't want to jinx it i probably already did but so far we're doing all right all right so i gotta be a bit more uh careful on the throttle maybe 
let the car roll in a bit more into turn one. I guess that's turn two, technically. Eh, a little bit of contact with the wall. Yeah, a little bit of contact with that wall too. Back out, let's try it again. By the way, I didn't realize how much more sensitive the the um, damage model is. It's, it's gotten really, really sensitive, which I like, to be quite honest. It almost feels like you, you actually have to drive carefully, and you can't just be ramming people into the wall or ramming yourself into the wall to gain pace, you know what I mean? So they, they re Polyphony really wanted to not have the wall riding... I guess exploit happened again because they they took parameters to their own hand and like they 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 really vamped up everything. Oh, I thought they didn't make it. Alright, I don't know how the hell he goes wide. I think I'm just going to keep it a little tighter on the exit. Yeah, I don't mind the new damage model. I'm, I'm pretty sure if you're like starting off in the lower lobby, it can be a bit annoying, especially if you have rammers, because, um, you know, they're not, they're not racing correctly. They're just out to cause havoc and misery. But yeah, if you get into an actual race with like people that are competitive and have race etiquette. I think uh, having the damage is a, it's a it's a good welcome new feature. Jesus freaking! I can't get one lap in. <laughs> I, I can't even make it half a lap. Yeah, I'll do Daily Race C, but I'll do it in the uh, American account. I'm definitely enjoying Daily Race B, though. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, Kimmy can now do more damage. I still have not raced against him. But I heard he's like the... He's like the new Momos or the new... Um, who was the guy in uh, America? There was a guy in America that used to kill everybody on GT Sport. Um, I know one of his names was Chalky Mattress. I just forgot what his actual name was. Wow, that was a really, really bad run through the uh, Chicane of Death. His name wasn't like Enzo, all right? It was like, I forgot what his name was. No, I should probably keep it in fifth. Oh my goodness, I cannot get a lot down here. I think Kimmy's trying to come over to US servers more because there is a car with... Huh. I mean, maybe. I mean, is he really well re recognized now in the uh, in the EMEA lobbies? Just because he causes a lot of havoc, or what? That was a nice run through Shikanda.
Alright, that's probably the closest we've been to the ghost. Ah, probably took that corner a bit wrong. Yeah, I'm just going to stay away from uh, abusing those curves because clearly I, I don't know what I'm doing, so I'm just messing up the, the lap. I think this is going to be an improvement, though, I hope. We'll see. Lap time, 30... 38.8, so yeah, almost like an improvement of two seconds. Should have enough time to finish another lap. Probably gain like half a second if we if we can hit the uh, S's correctly. Oh, not hit the wall there. That run through she can't death didn't help out. We lost about two uh, two tenths there. All right, but that run through the S has helped a little bit. Not gonna be uh, quicker. We'll just continue on and um, we'll just see if we can improve so that we can um, find maybe a little bit of pace for the race. But at least we, we gained about 1.3 seconds. It's better than nothing. I don't know where that's gonna start us off at though. That hairpin though, we got it. Fairly, fairly down. This part though, Jesus fudge. <clears throat> you now get damage when you go off track. Really? I didn't know that. I mean, I guess it makes sense. Like if you were to go off track in real life, like you get a, I guess it depends if how bumpy the, uh, the off track is, but I know, you know, you get floor damage if you're in an F1 car. I don't know how it is for the GT3 cars because they're a little bit more off the ground. <laughs> but like if you get a stock car off onto the grass, um, especially when they used to have the splitters, like nine out of 10 times they'd get damaged or destroyed. But I guess that's pretty realistic. All right, well, we'll see what this qualifying time gets us at. I think it's going to be like maybe a seventh. Oh, okay. We're like a uh, fifth. Not too shabby. Still have a lot of improvement to do, though. We can definitely get up about another eight tenths. Uh, yeah, so we're starting to get into like the A, B range. So we'll, we'll, uh, we'll just do this race here in the EMEA, and then we'll jump into um, the USA count. Bob! Hello! Say hello to him. Oh, Jesus. Nice to meet you. Good afternoon. Hope you have a good one, Bob. Oka Ace, evening. Hey, Poka. If, uh, if I run over a high curb in real life GT, you definitely get splitter damage. Yeah. Exactly, Diesel Dave. Exactly.
Alrighty, well, we'll see where we uh, finish out here. And then, uh, like I said, we'll hop into the USA account after this one. <clears throat> okay. Fifth place, not too shabby, I guess, for... Or just... <laughs> Just barely touching this race at all. I think I put too much focus last stream into Daily Race C. Like, Daily Race C, I felt like we could have put in a really, really good lap time. Which is, I was, I kept bending it. Can I say? Alright. Dude, we can hit a podium. Ooh, the leader went a bit wide. Alright, into the chicane of death. Ah, uh, we got damage. Nothing too crazy. Oh, wow, look at that behind. We were able to gain our... Gain a lot of time there. And P2 is is starting to hold up these uh, Spaniards and uh, or not these Spaniards the, the Spaniard and the German. Sorry to any German I just offended. <laughs> gonna be good for us. So we're gonna be able to try to sneak it in here on Walkie, unless he tries to sneak it in on a uh, Carter here. There we go, side by side. Whoa. Oh, what's gonna happen here? You gonna let him in? Yeah, all right. Oh, uh, no, he screwed us up here. Oh, the Brit's off. Okay, we're up to P4. German went a bit too narrow on the entrance. Hmm, where do we go from here? I felt a bit weird. I don't know if it was just dirty air or just me not taking the correct line. Something fell a bit off going through this. Oh, through the S's. It's walkie almost lost it. Shit, we might be able to get a P2 here, guys. I don't know if we'll be able to catch up to uh, the Hungarian in first place. Bless the Toyota straight line speed. <laughs> it's the only reason why we got that position. Please, please don't. No, okay. I'm still not comfortable with that left corner. Like, I feel like I'm taking it way too narrow on the entrance. Oh, 
Walkie got a really good run through there. I was gonna say, I think I break the bit too late. And I did. Alright, we need to have a perfect lap here if we wanna catch up to Walkie and then get around him. Perfect lap, come on. Alright, we got a decent run there. Crashed up about 10. All right, scratched off another tenth there. Gap is closing. Oh, we got a really bad exit. Maybe we can force him into a mistake here. It's gonna be close, guys. We need to have a really good exit here. Through this uh, chicane. Hmm, I think we're just gonna run out of time. We're in a slip, but yeah, I think we're just gonna run out of time. All right, walkie. All right, one more lap. We probably would have got you, but GG, GG. That was fun. That was fun. Whew. Saturday's Mania will be fun. One of your favorite tracks. Really, what, what is the uh, track going to be on manufacturer, Claire? Well, I guess Sam asked the same thing, too. <laughs> you have to stop playing. It's too hot and humid for me to continue playing. Oof. Sounds bad, McLaren. Sounds bad. Your AC is out? That doesn't sound like a fun time, Max. That sounds like, uh... That sounds like you need me to ship you out an AC or something. <laughs> that was a good race. Arteria. Uh, well done. No, yeah, that was a really fun race. Alright, let's back out and let's hop into our American account. Um, we should have enough time to, uh, practice on day C and then we'll do, uh, I'm trying to think what would be the best route to go. Okay. Let me, um, let me switch out. <clears throat> Andrew, will you get any videos, uh, a way to let us know where, um, simple boy, I'm, I'm going to release some videos while I'm out there. I already have some videos lined up. So, I mean, there'll be some content. I don't know yet if I'll do like a vlog style out there. Uh, it depends on what we do. If we, if we go like to a track or something, or, um, you know, if we go karting, maybe just, maybe we'll do a vlog, but I'll see. I'll see. Grove street. Welcome in my guy. Is Yamajiwa group? Oh, okay. So it's going to be around Yamajiwa. Ah, man. I, I like that track. <laughs> I'm actually somewhat decent there. So I, I, I'm kind of sad. I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be taking part of that. Not with group four. I don't remember what it was last time. That one time it was the, uh, um, uh, what was it? Daily Race C, I think it was, or Daily Race... Yeah, it was Daily Race C. I just don't remember if it was in a Group 4 or Group 3. I just remember the Toyota was 
was OP around that track. Ah, uh, all right. Tell you what, we'll do a couple more seasides and then we'll do uh, we'll do Sardinia after that. So we'll probably do Sardinia around 5:30. So we'll do two more of these. Hop into there. Trying to debate. Do I want to put in a qualifying time or not? The only reason why I would like to put in a qualifying time is because this is like my actual main account. And I don't want to lose too much DR. You know what I mean? It's your birth. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was reading it wrong. Happy early birthday. Happy, uh, let's see. Uh, it's September, October, November, December. January. Happy four month early birthday. All right, let's, um, let's just get the track down. I'm debating if I, we'll see. We'll see if we put in a lot of time. I don't even know who's on, who's on right now on the uh, USA account. Or in the USA region, my bad. He's... Is he just releasing the throttle? I guess you could just do that. Don't need to uh, get on the brakes at all, it looks like. We'll do that again. Doing a little bit of drifting here. <laughs> so it's on the fifth. Okay, so then it's uh let me see. Today's the eighth, right? Or today's no no, today's the seventh. So we got October seventh, November seventh, December seventh. Happy three month, happy early three month and twenty nine days. Or I guess 28 days in a few hours early birthday. There you go. Does that does that sound right? I don't know how many <laughs> I don't know how many month and uh, correct amount of days there are until January 5th. You since you're leaving for a few weeks, can you do four laps? Uh the nerve breaking for 24 hour shots, just four laps. I could do maybe two laps or three laps. <laughs> Yeah, I'll do two laps. I don't know about four laps. So four, what is that? Four times, if we do a group three car, four times six, that's 24 minutes. Well, I, it's probably like seven minutes to be quite honest. I'll see, I'll see. You gotta remember, I still got a pack. I haven't, I haven't packed up at all. I'm. After the stream, immediately I'm getting straight to packing, and then um, I still gotta finish a couple more videos. And yeah, I, my my entire evening, my entire night, all tomorrow is just all busy. I got onto this new—I don't want to say new program because it's not really new, but um, I've been looking into ways to be more productive it's just increasing productivity and um i found this one method called uh jesus this one method called uh, i think it's called block time it's either block time or time stable and it's basically like how if you ever went to school how they would you know block out either the 50 minutes or hour and a half or however long you had per subject it's kind of how you do it in 
in your daily life as an adult. So like I block out time on my calendar for uh, certain events. And uh, it's been helping out a lot. Cause it gives me kind of like a, an end time goal that I need to finish a certain, you know, su I don't want to say subject, but a certain task. And it almost feels like a game. So I don't know if you, uh, if you guys are looking to increase productivity, do some research on it. I know I can probably get a little more in depth in it, but I want to focus here on the on the driving. Oh no, yeah, structure is definitely helpful. I've been able to cram in a lot more in the day. Guys, did I put in a lap time or do we just start from the rear? You know what? Let's just start in the rear for the first race. And if I see that, you know, we need to put in a lap time because um, there's a lot of really quick drivers, then we'll we'll put in a lap time. But for right now, we'll just uh, start off in the rear. The 24 hour Nurburgring is your favorite track? Nice. I just think the, the Nurburgring Norschleife itself, it's, it's a lot of fun. When they have the GP track with it, it's, it's still fun, but it, it, it doesn't feel, uh, it just doesn't feel right, in my opinion. But I know there's a lot of people that like the 24 hour edition better than the Norschleife. Yeah, we all, I wish I wish we all came with personal assistance. That'd be great. Oh my goodness! I wish I didn't hit that wall either. Right, let me try this again. Jesus, you haven't missed out much, Ray. We're just in the uh, American account now. I guess it's a pretty big thing. Okay, maybe you did miss out a lot, Ray. Try to not leave anymore, yeah? Sorry, sorry. <laughs> See, still Dave, you, uh, you do have a point there. You do have a slight point there. You can actually make some overtakes without uh, relying on just someone making a mistake and going off. Or forcing someone off. I guess you can always force someone off. That's a uh, that's another alternative, Diesel. All right, let's see how we do here. Starting off in the rear. There we speed. Okay. So if we put in the lap time that we put in in the EMEA count. We'd be second right now, right in front of Hewis Lamilton. <laughs> I just realized he was Lamelton's in here. I have been seeing him in a in a hot minute. The legend, guys. If you guys don't know who who Hewis Lamelton is, you guys are gonna learn today. Uh, who else is in here? Pedro, Andre's in here. Uh, ch -ch -ch. Oh, McLaren. Good to see you here. Don't die, my guy. Please don't die. <laughs> we need you. <laughs> he says, "Hey, eleven." H5 says, try going a bit wider on the last corner. You understeer. That should give you some more space to break. Okay. Yeah, just take it a bit wider on the curb. We'll see how we do. Start off in uh, P15. We got to avoid barriers. We got to avoid cars. We got to avoid 
sand, grass, everything. Someone's driving the Lamborghini, interesting. Okay. Real quick, what are your predictions? How many guy, uh, how many drivers do you think is gonna die heading into the chicane of death? I'm gonna say three drivers are gonna die heading through the chicane of death. That that's my prediction. We'll see though. Oh my gosh! What the hell? Clancy, you idiot. Oh, <laughs> have to start following the back. I see one death on the map. I see two. I see yellow flags. All right, so just two, two deaths. I was wrong. Oh, maybe three. Is that a third one? Luddy, that's that's the third one. I'm counting it. Oh no, it's McLaren. Oh yeah. Damn it, we're coming in on the inside. Coming hot. Oh, whoa, 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 Luddy. Nice save, nice save. Oh, never mind. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> uh, guys, I, I... I literally cropped my pass right there. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, Lamborghini was going. Podium, welcome in. Uh, let's see if we can catch up to the pack up ahead. I'm, I'm certain we can still get a couple positions. Oh, someone disconnected. Did it catch up? The Brazilian looked like he had an issue. to the Brazilian, which is great. 4.7 seconds is the uh, gap. And uh, like I said, there's still a lot of racing to go. I'm pretty sure there's going to be more deaths going into Chicane. Um, Paul, I'm heading to London. Yeah, uh, I might be heading the Brands Hatch too. Oh. Green flags, I'm assuming there was a yellow flag here earlier. Don't know for who though. Woo. 
Ooh, that was close. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious to see what the gap is going to be from us to Andre. She came though, it keeps catching me out. I keep messing up right there. Uh, looks like everybody made it through cleanly. Catch up to Andre. We, I think the best we're gonna be able to do here, guys, is gonna be P9. If we can catch up to Andre. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. I missed my shift. One point one, one point zero, point nine, point eight. No, we're not gonna be able to get him. Ah, damn it. Yeah, we're not gonna get him. All right, I guess the P10 is not too shabby after getting spun out in the beginning. By the way, I didn't mean to call Plenty uh, an idiot in the beginning. That's my fault. That was just uh, frustration on my end. Cheers, Diesel, Dave. I think this next one we're going to put in a qualifying time, though. I kind of want to race against uh, Papi Drulo. I don't know if I just said something bad in Spanish. But... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Porsche won by five seconds. Oh, no. All right. Hope you have a good one, Max. He says, alrighty, everyone. I have to go to work and get this paperwork done. Please enjoy the stream. And if you are enjoying it, leave a like. Also, check out the Discord. Yeah, if you guys want to catch up with all the shenanigans that goes on in the community and in the Discord... Hit that link right there but max thank you so much again for tuning in and again really really appreciate the donation my guy um if you need to talk to me you know i'm always here to talk uh but hope you have a good one at work and i will see you in two or three weeks max <laughs> cheers sam all right let's uh let's put in a qualifying time so we can race against um these guys in the front. I don't want to get, you know, turned again going into turn number two. Also, McLaren, what happened to you? I, I saw that um, you had a four second penalty. What, what exactly happened right there? No, yeah, the reverse layout is definitely difficult. It's, uh, it's a tricky little course. Oh, you're heading out too? Alrighty. Hope you have a good one. Cody, are you gonna hop on or are you, are you just gonna um, relax today? We'll get a little race in with you. If you do hop online. Alright, let's see what kind of lap time we can get here. Ah, 
I don't understand how you get such a great exit. I literally thought we were equal right there. This last time is. Yeah, I guess that makes a good point, Bodie. That does make a good point. I wouldn't want to be near anything that has a wheel in it either. <laughs> if I were to do it for 10 hours at work. Turn in way too much. Oh, you don't have your sim rig anymore? Podium? You didn't tell me that. Oh, you got caught him in someone else's mess with Claren? Happens. Just an innocent bystander, and they give you the penalty. to the wall right there. That was a really good run through the S's. I think it's going to be a, a pretty decent lap. At least I thought it was going to be a decent lap until we got to that final chicane. <laughs> Claire. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Podium had a pretty sweet rig from what I remember. mistake right there. Definitely cost us some time. I 
I think we can gain some of it back if we can hit this final chicane correctly. Hey, look at that. Time is going back to the right, but I don't know if it's going to be enough. All right, we'll have one more opportunity to try to get a low 38. Drove into that corner, Blake. It helped us out on the exit. improvement but not as much as I wanted it to be I, I at least wanted it to be a, about four tenths maybe half a second improvement but it's only gonna be a tenth and a half not too happy with that lap um I think there's a little bit over 400 lower 450 Oh, into the wall. Alright, you can't wall right into that corner. Unfortunately. <laughs> no, yeah, big time death. It's okay. Uh, we weren't going to be able to finish that lap anyway, so might as well just get, uh, take the 138.5. What do you mean by that, Toby? We only use 1%. For Andrew, yeah. F, just for Andrew's everything, Andrew's life. The entire F. Oh, okay. So now now we're starting to get some uh, some tryhards here. Okay. <laughs> uh, we got Papi Drulo. We got Samuel. We got John in first. We got Flyer in fifth. Got Gabe in sixth. Ah, uh, McLaren Fiji's not in here anymore. Oh, no, he is. There he is. 148. Oh, wow. This is an interesting lobby. You got A plus ranked drivers with S safety rating. And then you got Thunder over here with a B safety rating. That's how you know that the, uh, the lobbies are not healthy right now. And we're starting to get, like, different SRs. You want to see a Vision GT day race? That was basically all it was on the, um, on the first day race around Daytona. Alright, here we go, guys. Here we finish off here. Fourth place. You have to catch up to Samuel and catch up to John. Yeah, I mean, we'll see. We'll see how good John is. I, I feel like I've raced him before. <laughs> McClure's Peach said no. Alright, here we go, guys.
Damn, you almost went off. Oh, wow, I think all of them hit the wall. Nice little time battle we got here for uh, first. Yeah, I found chicane. I do not know how to take it properly. We lost like maybe four tenths right there just because of that chicane. Unless we have slip. Eee, John almost lost it. Sam's in the wall. A little bit of contact. Uh, I feel like that was my corner. You guys let me know. I thought I had the inside line though. Alright, we need these two to continue fighting so we can catch up. Oh, okay. I don't think John's gonna be too happy about that. slowing down a lot really screwed us up we had nowhere to go at least the damage clear that's frustrating Super is off. Oh, we got hit. We got hit.
Ah, oh, we survived. TCR really gave us a shot going into turn two. Oh, Samway into the wall again. Oh, he almost lost it. Mm, just clip the uh, carving there on the inside. Come on, come on. Can we have any magic happen here? No, it looks like we're gonna run out of luck. It's gonna be a P3, guys. At least we got a podium. Damn, we could have gone for that win. We don't run into the back of John. That is a good chance that we go for a win. No, yeah, that was a fun one. That was a fun one. Yeah, hopefully they put in the MP44. That'll be great. Be uh probably like a day race day though, because of how hard that car is to drive. Benson, my guy, welcome in. How's it going? <laughs> Hold up, how long have you been watching me? He says, mmm, racing North American. What a nightmare. It wasn't too bad this one, but I mean there was uh there's some questionable stuff that happened. You're trying to hit the nice Phil. Alright, we'll see you on the track, Phil. We're gonna hop into day race here right now, actually. Da, 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 da. Did you do a 32 hour drive, Benson? And G GG flyer. And where are you at? Oh he left. Oh no, he was right there. Uh thanks for the race. Save that replay for sure. That was an interesting one. You just got here, Cole? Okay. I thought you were just, you know, lurking in the shadows. <laughs> Thierry, welcome in. Uh, Thierry, I'm, I'm heading to London for uh, for a week. And um, now that I'm heading to Spain for a bit too. But I fly out tomorrow. So this is like the only day we, I could have to actually do like a a proper goodbye and uh have ourselves a you know a final stream quote unquote for like the next two or three uh next two to three weeks because i'm leaving friday but i come back on on not next monday but the monday after next so technically it's like 10 11 days in total but um when you look at the weeks i guess it's like maybe a week and a half two weeks in a way but I should be able to stream hopefully when I get back. We'll see. That Monday either. It'll be that Monday or that Tuesday we'll stream. Alright, let's um let's get into the alpha and let's see how we do around here. I think I put I put in a lap. I got what is it, 148.7, but I know I could do better than that. Angie did a two point five 24 hours at wait what two and a half 24 hours the weekend sorry best you have you have to explain that to me again <laughs> i'm not understanding so you see, are you saying you did a 1.5 24 because if you did 1.5 then yeah 32 hours right there right you will be okay sounds good cool <laughs> No, I'm not going to Valencia. I'm going to uh, Mallorca. 
uh, just chill on an island for a bit, just away from everything. I kind of need it to be quite honest, guys. Like this, this YouTube stuff, it's it, it's stressful. It really plays with your men with your mental health and just uh physically, mentally, it just drains you. But um, be over there, just chilling, just basically getting a good old recharge. Can I go? Welcome in. He says I like to see more group two races. Yeah, I'd like to see some more group two races, especially around Fuji. Fuji. Mwah, with group two cars. We got took out after eight hours in the first 24 hours, then joined the 7 p.m. slot and did it. Oh my gosh. You guys are madmen. I, I respect it though. I respect it. How do you guys do on the, uh, on the second one? Oh my goodness, I forgot how to drive this car. You love and hate the 155. Is it? It's like a one third. Because. A24 is one third, right? Let's see. Uh, half the short. Yeah, it's one third. They did a 1.3333333333 hour race. Or 1.3333333 24 hour race. There you go. Sorry, I, want, I just wanted to get technical. Worth doing that second race then if you guys got second. Jeez, I am doing terrible around here. Luckily, we have enough time to do two laps, so... Oh! Never mind, we went a bit wide. Who's gonna be racing right now at this time? I hope Cyrus is on. That'll be great. sure yet yeah, this could be a new record for us the 
this might be we could just hit this final couple corners correctly we'll see what this lap is i think it might be all right for seven 48 ah nope just missed it. Come on. One more time. Then we lost a lot of our time here on this first sector. Overshot it. Overshot it, guys. No, no, I'm not leaving for good yet, Terry. Not yet. I know, so slow, so slow. <laughs> Always getting too fast. <laughs> is he almost, is he faster than you now, Benson, or what? Seems like uh, using the front USB did the trick. I, I it seems like it all thumbs. Uh, so far we haven't had any disconnections, so maybe that was the trick. Oof. We're gonna have our work cut out for us during the race. Jesus. Messed up again. Goes into WRX a bit heavy. Really? Nice, Benson. Nice. At least if you, if you guys do duos for like endurance race, at least like, you know, there's no, uh, there's no, um, how can I say, like, uh, like a weak link, I guess. I'm pretty sure it would be like a really good endurance race for you two. Oh, goodness. What is this going on here? Got me, Buckle, JL, Matos, and Frenchy. I'm very, oh, geez, there's a lot of people on right now. Planet Fiji's here. Cyrus, let's go. Let me see what's up to him. Hold up. Hey, sexy. Where you at? Where's the, uh... That's it. Alright, got it. <laughs> Just got it. <laughs> Matt, hello. Hello, Matt. That's a good race. Oh, wait. What am I saying? It hasn't even raced yet. Good afternoon. Missed it. Nemo, welcome in. P5 in your split. Ah, got to get into our race. Next race up, Bill. We do got to improve on our lap time, though. I feel like a 48.7 is not good enough. We're going to have to hold off Buckle and uh, Matos right behind us. Yes, Nemo, it is definitely the output of Mayo Challenge Championship. What year did this car come out at? It was, uh, it was like a 90s car. It almost actually might be like late 80s, it looks like a little bit. Yeah, we do here. I know Buckle was trying to take a little peek there. Oh, 
Oh. Little mistake on my end, but look like Buckle didn't get a good corner either. Nineties, okay, so I guess I was partially right. If I said nineties, eighties, it was in Gran Turismo too. little gap here that we're pulling away from buckle but we got a decent exit yeah the offline mode on this game is basically non-existent you have to have online if you want to play on this Buckle's giving us a pretty good fight here, though. He hasn't really let off here. To make a little small mistake. We'll defend the inside. That was actually a pretty big mistake. I didn't shift down to second gear, and we lost the rear. contact Oh, we got a decent exit now we're gonna have slip here, so we'll see if we can get around buckle. Ooh, slip it right into the inside. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I don't know. Was that on me, guys? That. Hey, if that's on me, I'll take full responsibility. Buckle, if you're in the chat, if that was on me, I apologize. can rewind back and just let me know if that was on me or not. me in the rear yeah but I give him space
check the minimap. I'll have to do it afterwards. And I'm getting a bit dodgy going into turn one. That's why side by side. I just didn't know if I gave Buckle enough space. Just quit too. You should have fallen line behind it. I think just slightly misjudged. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he'll be in the chat. <laughs> I didn't know because I I was doing some of these races on Monday and uh, I know side by side can get a bit dodgy into that corner I'm trying to make sure I didn't wash up into you I didn't know if, uh, if I gave you no space though They brought back the X1. I don't know. Oh, we got Vario and Cyrus right behind us. Cyrus literally going from last to first. Barrio is giving us a good run for our money though too. I'll break him. Just kept the position. The sergeant's catching up now. <laughs> he's good. He's good. Cyrus is gonna get in here too, and it's gonna be very interesting. I gotta get better at that corner. Oh, that was a good move. That was a good move. Just went a bit wide there. See where I'm losing time at. I know we're gaining time.
Just follow him here. There's no point of going side by side. Try to get him to turn one. Yeah, we'll just wait. We'll wait. I don't want to have a, another incident like Baco. Rise on the outside, just goes a bit wide. battle we're having here for P1. Oh shit, I didn't realize Cyrus was going for the inside. I hate not having a rear view mirror. I can't I can't see when someone's going for a move or not. I, I wasn't thinking he was gonna go for that move to be quite honest. Let's try to get back in this. And not take them out. Sheesh, that was close. Keep fighting. Closing the gap a little bit on Cyrus. Vario could just keep putting the pressure on him. Oh, Vario made contact with the wall. That might be it for him. He's in the wall again. Mm 
We lost a little bit of time, but Sarah's got a really bad exit, so we might gain about a couple tens here. On this straight. I think he's gonna be able to pull away from us. I don't think we got the pace to catch up to him. I know, Lars, I know. <laughs> That's the first thing that popped into my head, too, when Cyrus got around us. Cars are dead. Oh, very I wasn't expecting to go for the inside right there. Yeah, we're just gonna be able to keep it right in front of him. Oh, we just kept it in front. We couldn't keep it in front of Cyrus, but we kept it in front of Ariel. There we go. P2. Ay, ay. I gotta figure out what I'm losing time at, though. <laughs> I was trying, Lars. I was trying to catch up to him. To be fair, those tires are tough with the new wear physics. Yeah. But so we were leading. The Cyrus literally came from last place to the front, so we shouldn't be allowing him to win. We were just slow. Oh, you're leaving all thumbs? He says, thanks for the show. Enjoy your vacation. Love, peace, and Axel Grease. <laughs> Thank you so much, all thumbs, for tuning in. Glad you enjoyed it. Yeah, thank you, John. Yeah, that was a great race. That was a great race. John, were you the one in our last race in the Dragon Trails? If so, that was, that was a wicked one, too. That was interesting. John, you raced against Scott Chegg. <laughs> nice. Thank you, John. Thank you for the like. H5 says, good night. 3 a.m. in España at the moment. Really? It's, it's 3 a.m. over there. I guess that makes sense, yeah. Yeah, MVP. I'm all good. I have no mirror. <laughs> No mirrors. Oh, I didn't get to say... I didn't get to tell him the same thing. No, Forb. No, Forb. <laughs> Forbes, he says, Andrew Tate racing? Nah. That's the only thing I hate. Like, uh, what I hate right now is if you look up Andrew racing, literally Andrew Tate comes up on, on my, uh, on my search. 
Whenever you look up my name. Yeah, very. That was a good race. Good race. <laughs> yeah, a Andrew Tate's the last guy I want to be associated with right now. <laughs> Pop. Nice. Yeah, welcome, welcome to the A A plus lobby, mate. Good race. Good race. What happened to Matos? I don't know what happened to Matos. Roger, welcome in. Oh wait, what am I saying, Roger? Roger, weren't you here earlier? I thought I saw you here earlier. Oh no, it was Phil. Roger, you and Phil have like almost the exact same, um... Profile pick, but anyways, welcome in, Roger. Hello. Oh, Mushi Kane. No, it's fine. I, I didn't. I don't have a mirror, so I couldn't see him. So it was. It was fine. He he made a legal move. I just. I didn't know he was going for the overtake. <laughs> That's all good. All right, buckle. Hope I hope to see you on the next race, mate. Come on. Round two. I won't take you out this time. I promise. I'll, I won't. I won't go for the overtake going into turn number one. It's too, it's too risky and it's just yeah, does it just doesn't seem to work out well for anybody. Yeah, we definitely need to hit be hitting forty nine consistently. A good laugh so far. We have damage, but I think we should be all right to continue on. See you later, John. Thank you for tuning in. Thirty-four in sector one is good. Yeah, it's just unfortunate that we got damage on that corner. Kind of killed our uh, our momentum there. seem to get that that corner right maybe I just got going with a bit more speed
these. It's gonna be an improvement or no? Nope. One more attempt. Come on. Now we got a bad start. Nope. I think that's it. You know, we're not gonna be able to put another lap in. There's like two cards that are screwing me up. You think Kimmy's gonna be the first uh, ban? Is he really that bad? Like I said, I, I've heard about him. I just, I've never seen anything that he just done. Just because I haven't raced against him and I haven't really watched any videos. As well, hit all four corners, right? Super GT does a lot of videos about Kimi. Yeah, I'll have to see. This is going to be our last race of the day, boys and girls. So we'll see how we do here. Oh, Erky's in here. Look at that. I haven't driven against Erky in a long time. And we're going to be able to race against him. I didn't even know he was back on GT7. The last time like, uh, I saw him on GT7 was probably in the beginning of when the game came out. Oh, are you serious, guys? Are you still here? Or do we just get disconnected from the uh, lobby? Let me know if the stream is still going, guys. Uh, you just got booted too? Yeah, I got booted too. Okay, so it wasn't just me, alright. Well, I guess we'll just do one more daily race B and then we'll have to call it a stream, guys. I wish I could go longer, but I have to finish here before 6.30. Stream is good, okay. Thank you, Kobe. Thank you, Roger. Yeah. Um, yeah, because last time this happened, the stream died too. So I just want to make sure it wasn't, you know, um, both the stream and the uh, lobby dying. Yeah, there are a lot of Kimmies in this game. Well, all right. Well, let's uh, get back to uh, day race B then. See if we can improve our lap time here. And this week has, has not been that strong for me. I feel like I've been really, really weak this week. No pun intended. Not too shabby. Let's continue on even though we have a little bit of damage. Never mind. <laughs> 
<laughs> I was thinking about doing open lobbies, but I, I, it's, it's too late now because, like I said, we're going to have to end the stream here soon. We got to do open lobbies, though. Did they finally fix the the issues with private lobbies? Like, now you can actually save your pre, you know, your setups and, um, kick people out and all that stuff that you're supposed to be able to do when the game came out. I can't even think now because I'm getting so angry. minutes to put in a faster lap time. Not too shabby. So far. Screwed it up on the second part. Kind of fixed. Oh, man. I didn't want to hear kind of fix. I wanted to hear fix, fix. Be like a Europe driver. Go for All right, Lars. <laughs> I can't believe I made that. Come on. It's a good lap so far. Whoops, I mean to hit that. Lose all my time at. Much better second corner. It's not going to be an uh, improvement. Alright, let's try this again. Oh, 
Oh, Barry, I didn't even know you're here. What's going on, mate? Yeah, sector two is definitely my challenge. The S's have never been kind to me. Whether it's the uh, reverse edition or the normal edition, the S's have never been good. sector. Probably my best I've done so far. improvement there. Well, we'll see what a 138.3 gets us in. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be our last race, guys. <laughs> nice, McLaren. Nice. Uh, we got John. We got Boat. We got Adriano. We got Papi back in here. Elite. Flyer. Oh, it's going to be a... It's going to be a close one. Look at that. This is definitely going to be a close one. Thank you, Bill. Good luck, McLaren. Right, let's go straight to the wall. That's a lot of consensual life. Oh, 51 driver, hello. Says, what's up? What's up, 51 driver? Hope you're having a good one. Good luck on your race. Alrighty, last one, guys, until two weeks or two and a half or one, wait, one, one and a half week. We'll say one and a half, two weeks. So, let's make a count. Imagine we get taken on the first corner. That'd be terrible. That'd be just my luck, to be quite honest. If we get taken on the first on the first corner, all right. Good luck, everybody. Thank you, Daniel. John is just like trying every single car. He tried the WRX last time, now he's using the Genesis. And we got a good run. A little Brazilian. Oh my goodness! The Brazilian <laughs> commits suicide. Jesus Christ. He just went straight into the wall. Oh, <laughs> to P3. I swear I did not plan for that to happen. There's going to be no Brazilian crimes here.
Alright, so far we're doing alright. Keeping up with Boat. Boat's keeping up with John. Yeah, RIP to the Brazilian. Everybody pay their respects to the Brazilian, yeah? Oi. It's a bit risky. Oh, wow. A little bit of carnage there. And there we go. We're up to P1. I run away with it now. Good that Genesis is here. Guess we'll find out. Ah, just shoot it up again on the chicane. That chicane has been my Achilles heel. I've just been terrible on it. I'll hold the inside. fixed. Now I'm kind of upset myself that I got damaged. One lap to go, guys. Stick on to the inside. Yeah, that chances doesn't have a good straight line speed. Three-car battle for this one. Anything can happen.
There's only one. No, we're not gonna be able to get the win, but we might be able to get P2. Gonna be a drag race. Uh, we just got P2. Damn it, I thought we were gonna be able to get the win. That'd have been a great way to finish off the stream. <laughs> I messed that up though. I, I screwed up going into the chicane and crashed into the wall. I can't blame it. I can't blame anybody besides myself. Whoa. Oh no, knife kid. You sold Gran Turismo? Yeah, no, it's definitely a staple for a lot of people. Yeah, the, the, the the go-to game, especially on PlayStation, but that sucks that you had to sell it. Yeah, the Porsche is good on the corners. We need a C8 GTR. No, bro, I don't know why they haven't put the, the C8 on here yet. <laughs> yeah, Roger, it was, it was a good clean race. It's unfortunate that we made that, like I said, that we had contact with the wall. I think possibly, just possibly, we could have kept it in front of them. Either way, it was fun. John and um, Papi Zulo. Well done. Hi. Dan says, Well, see you in a few weeks, Andrew. Enjoy your vacation. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Daniel. You're not doing a bad race. They are just faster than you. Yeah, for right now, yeah. But I'll get faster than them eventually, hopefully. <laughs> Maybe this three weeks will, or these two weeks will reset my mind. Probably should have practiced before jumping. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely, Matt. Where'd you end up finishing at? Thank you, Lars. Uh, Roger said, finally bought my PS5, so it's now being shipped. The kids can get the PS4, so. Oh, all right, Roger. All right. I'll see you. <laughs> nice, Matt. Nice. <laughs> Well, you have enough time to practice now. Yeah, Papi Drula, that was definitely a very, very close race. Very, very close. GG on the win. Alrighty, boys and girls. Well, well, I'm going to try to say this without crying. <laughs> no, but seriously, guys, again, thank you so much for everything that you do for the channel. Without you guys' support, we wouldn't be able to do these, these holiday vacations like what I'm going to be doing um, for the next two weeks. So I want to say a really, really big thank you to you guys. And on top of that, I want to give you guys all. I know I said this early in the stream, but a virtual hug. If I can give every single one of you guys a hug for all the support, I would. Um, but yeah, next two weeks, you're not going to see me, except if you follow me on like Instagram or Twitter, and then you guys will probably see like posts. But um, on YouTube front, you'll probably see a couple videos come out, maybe three videos. We'll see. If, uh, if I get a vlog in over there. But other than that, guys, yeah. I'm ready to just have a mental reset. And then come back stronger. And finish off the year on a high note. With uh, better content. Better racing. Just a better me in general, you know. Because uh, I feel like I could have done a lot better this year. In my opinion, but... I'm going to leave it like that, guys. But I do want to give a huge thank you as well to... Um, or a huge shout-out, actually, to McLaren Fiji for the donation as well as Sir Max Turbo for the donation. Um, I guess we'll keep the lights on, keep the streams going, and keep me from not getting victim from my own home. So thank you so much. Roger says, shucks. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Matt. Thank you. <laughs> Lars says, stay away from the... Yeah, I'll try to stay away from the walls while I'm over there. I see their knife. Um. <laughs> thank you, Claire. Yeah, I'll stay safe. Don't worry. I'm, nothing's gonna happen to me while I'm out there. Watch in two weeks. YouTuber GT7 driver goes missing. <laughs> uh, I should probably knock on wood so I don't see them to existence or whatever. Oh, thank you for tuning in, Lars. <laughs> see you later, Daniel. Alrighty, guys. Well, it's been fun. And, um, yeah, like I said, if you guys want to keep updated with everything that's going on with me, Twitter, Instagram, 
And uh, like I said, I'll post up a couple of videos while I'm out there uh, that I have already in the works. But we'll see if I post the third one. I'll put a vlog out there. I don't know yet, but if I do, you guys will see it. But that's going to be it for me, guys. Until two Mondays from now, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Whenever you guys are watching, whatever time you guys are watching. Hope you guys have a great two weeks. Until then, I will see you next time. Peace.